Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now, we would be seeing how the locator, that is a specific uh, ID locator works. So, what is ID? ID is the most common attribute that is given to an HTML element. We mentioned the ID by ID equal to ID of an element. See, I'm having an input and I've given it as ID as username. So, I would be using this ID, this username into my, you know, into my Selenium commands to perform an action on this input box. Now, how do we actually find this ID would be a part of the uh, of our practical. Now, let's quickly go to our screen and see how we can actually find out this ID of this element. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, now, as you've already seen about, you know, the locators, uh, like how do, how do the locators work and how do we actually identify them. Now, let's quickly have a look at the working of the locator by ID in this particular session. So now, what is ID? ID, as, as the word symbolizes, or it, it, it's a self-explanatory word which says that ID stands for identification or an identity, right? Now, what do you mean by an ID and how we can actually find the ID of an element, right? Now, let's quickly open up our Mozilla and over in the Mozilla, let's see the working of ID. I won't do much. I will only open up the Google landing page. Now on this page, how do I identify that, you know, which element is having its ID or what is the ID of a particular element? If you can recall that uh, in the session when you're working on Selenium ID and Firebug and Firepath. So these are the two ways or the two tools available by which we can identify the ID of a particular web element. What I'll do is I'll try to find out the ID of this particular search box on the Google landing page. I right click this one. I can go to inspect element. So if you are not having any any advanced tool like Firebug or Firepath or Selenium ID, then you can always use this way in which I did this right now. Here and you can check that yes, this is an input box or is an input type tag and is having ID as LSTIB, right? This is having the ID as LSTIB. This is the one way in which we can identify the ID of an element. This is not wherein, you know, we end over here. We can also use our firebug to get the inspect or the ID of this element. So on opening up a firebug, we get an input type which is having an ID and this is the ID that is LSTIB, right? Now, in our Selenium programs or in the web driver, we simply need to use this particular ID to work or to understand or to perform operations on this element. Now, let me quickly open up, up, open up my Selenium ID and try and get the ID over there. So. What I do is, it is not having an ID as we can see that the Selenium ID is trying to identify this element using the name. Let me try and see if it can be identified. Yeah, like so this one. This particular button is having an ID that is GB underscore 70. Let me show it to you. Inspect element with firebug. So this is the ID that is GB underscore 70, right? Now, if I click on find, then it would automatically choose. If you can check in the backdrop in the bottom, it is all it is automatically choosing this particular sign in, right? So this is a way in which, you know, we can simply use an ID and work on the ID based on this one. Now what we will do is we would simply go to up our of open up our Eclipse, go to the Eclipse and see the working of ID. How do we actually find elements using ID? So here's my locator by ID demo, a new project, and here and I'm creating a new class. I named the class as uh, ID demo. I want the main method to be here. I click on finish. In this particular class, I would get started with actually setting up the system property. Now, 
the property to be set is the property of the geek hood driver, right? I simply choose the from my previous version. I I use this I this driver and I guys make sure that here you are supposed to mention the path of your exe file or the driver wherein you have placed. Make sure that you are passing the correct extension if you are using on a windows machine right i am running it on a mac so it doesn't need any extension on the mac after this i set up my web driver quite similar quite simple just we need to make sure that yes we are actually able to you know understand and get the concept of what we are supposed to perform right now what I'll do is on this particular page it's showing me I was saying import this one I obviously need to import the web driver class herein I would actually get the landing page of google.com so this was my page I'll click on this particular sign in button so for that what I'll do is I need to first have the web element right now what is the web element as I've already told you that each and element each and every you know HTML uh, tag that is there works on the basis of an element like your input box your button we all identify them in selenium using web element right I name it as sign in button equal to now how is this element being identified right I am identifying this element as find find element driver dot find element then I mentioned by dot the selector that is ID and in the ID I am passing the exact ID of this particular element I simply copy and paste this one so that I minimize my chances of error right I close this one this is done I'm just putting a log like assistant dot, uh, out dot print ln just to be double sure that yes you know the page has opened up and now would actually work on this particular web element the Google page has opened up and now will work on web element we can find this particular printer in or this particular kind of logs in our console when we work upon or when we run this particular test case now I won't do much I will just use this button and would click now what should happen you know a magic would happen which would simply click this element that is the sign in button on the Google page and the user would be landing to a different page altogether right here I also pass another system dot out dot print ln saying that yes the button has been clicked right now patiently I will run my case and would we'll see the running of this particular test case onto my system so a web driver is fired up the google page has landed up and yes the google page has opened up and now will work on the element yes the button has been clicked and on the backdrop if you can see you are on the landing page of google wherein which is the by default page for google accounts here you actually sign in right if I go back previous to the previous page this was the page that I was there on on clicking this one I land to the sign in Google accounts page right so this was the test case that we were supposed to do I missed something that is yes I didn't quit my driver that's why it was running right so now a very simple example in which we actually worked upon an ID and uh, the working of an ID intro was selenium script so this is my ID I pass this ID into a using a driver to a web element and I simply click this particular web element 
So guys, this was all about the locators by ID in this session. Stay tuned as we take you through other locators one by one in detail. Thank you.